Hi everybody, this is Matthew Pose of Pose Acoustics, and I'm answering questions again. So hopefully you find this helpful. Um, Nick, NickTube3904, although I'm able to interpret most of the measurements in REW, I'm still having a hard time to understand the phase response. What to look for, what is okay, good or perfect flat phase, what the phase unwrap screen shows. Stop looking at the phase. It's a, an in-room phase measurement is a useless measurement. You don't really need to be using that. There are people that make a really big deal about it. REW doesn't really have the tools needed to carefully look at phase in a particularly useful way in the room, in my opinion. Now, there's a couple things you can look at. You can definitely see the benefits, for instance. Honestly, though, many of the benefits you'd see from something like a room correction system on the impulse response are better looked at on the impulse response than the phase screen, but you can see it in the phase if you want to. So let's start with wrapped phase. Phase is cycling through 360 degrees, meaning it's all wrapped up. You can unwrap it in order to make it easier to see on a screen if you want to. The other thing, though, is that your impulse response is probably not going to be properly time aligned when it comes in. There's going to be a delay. You have to zero that out or the phase response is wrong. It's really important that you do that. That's a feature that REW has where you can zero out the delay. And then what you'll see is something more accurate. In the minimum phase region, the phase data is relatively interpretable. So from like one kilohertz on up in a halfway decent treated room, you're going to probably see a relatively smooth phase response. Somewhere around the crossover point, you're going to see a shift in the phase. That's pretty normal for a speaker because it's got a crossover. And then all of a sudden, you're going to see it go up and down and up and down and up and down. And you can unwrap that if you want to to try to make some sense of it, but there's nothing to make sense of because you've now hit what's called the mixed phase zone of the system. It's no longer minimum phase. And so what you're seeing is the effect of all the reflections. There's nothing to interpret there. There's nothing useful there for you to look at, and there's nothing a correction system should be doing to affect that that you really should care about. There are systems like Dirac or Trinov which have correction of the impulse response, which help to make the speaker more linear phase. To really see the effect, you'd have to measure the speaker in, in the near field to see what it's done and fully understand that. But you, can, you actually can see the benefit on the impulse response. So you simply take the impulse response of the system, you look at it before without Dirac or without Trinov, you look at it with, and you'll clearly see the effect that it's had. And what it's done is turned it into a somewhat linear phase uh, system. So I hope that's helpful. I see people make a really big deal about this phase stuff all the time and how they read it and how they've improved it. This, it. No, you haven't. It's a useless measurement. You cannot accurately measure phase in a room because it is completely wrapped up with all the reflections in the room. It's a mixed phase system. How the heck did you separate the two? You didn't, so you're not getting anything useful. I hope that was helpful. Sorry for being a little bit ornery on it, but uh, some of you guys can sometimes be knuckleheads. And uh, I want to help people to not waste time on things that don't matter. The phase measurement does not matter. Thanks again.